Rotor instruments such as the horn and uh, the trigger on some trombones and uh, the rotors on some tubas uh, pose a different um, need for oiling. Uh, while we could use regular valve oil on them in a pinch if we had to, uh, it's preferred to use a rotor oil. It's a little bit thinner um, and works a little bit better with those rotors. Now, unlike the valve where we actually remove the whole valve on a trumpet or a euphonium, with the rotor, we're just going to apply oil to the rotors in place. And there's two spots that we're going to do this. First, we're going to remove the rotor cap, um, exposing the hub of the middle of the rotor. We're going to take our rotor oil and just drop a couple of drops of oil right on the top of it. And then we want to work that in um, using the rotor paddle. Um, we should see so that, the, that there's not a puddle left on top of that. Once that's in place and the rotor moves freely, we're able to put the rotor cap back on. Um, another way that we can, that um, particularly if you have particularly dry rotors, that we can oil them is to um, invert the um, entire casing or entire horn, pull out the slide, and put just a couple of drops of oil right down um, the slide case, the, sorry, right down the slides um, to allow it to get all the way up to that rotor. Again, we're going to keep it upside down while that happens so that we can um, work that rotor back in. Once it feels like it moves freely, uh, we're set to go and we can replace the slide and we have oiled rotors. Um, particularly with horn, it's critically important that if we notice any sort of drag that we address it right away as rotors can very quickly freeze up in a very short amount of time, partially because rotor oil is a much thinner oil that dries out more quickly than traditional valve oil.